Health Secretary Sajid Javid said, quote, free parking in hospital car parks for NHS staff introduced during the pandemic will also come to an end on the 31st of March. However, over 93% of NHS trusts that charge for car parking have implemented free parking for those in greatest need, including NHS staff working overnight. Anyway, we are joined now by Peter Bone, Conservative MP for Wellingborough, who has been fighting for free parking in hospitals. Thank you very much, Peter. This is a terrible look. Yeah, well, it's, it's wrong. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, you know, if you're a, someone who has to go and work in a hospital, the hospital shouldn't be making money out of you by parking your car there. And, you know, many other organisations provide free car parking. So if we could do it during the pandemic, we could do it now. I mean, the only reason they're changing is to make more money. And that's not how we should fund our NHS. We shouldn't fund our NHS out of health uh, uh, charging for parking. I mean, that's absurd. And I introduced a bill, a private member's bill, to make it wrong to charge patients um, or visitors. I mean, you know, you, I mean, I went to hospital with my former wife many times with cancer uh, treatment, and there you are worrying about whether you've got the right coins or credit card or press the right button on the parking machine. Adds to the stress, unnecessary and wrong. I think your latter point there about uh, sort of patients and visitors, because that does sort of uh, create a class divide in terms of who can access the hospital easy, easily. But uh, the NHS headcount is currently 1.3 million. Many, obviously not all of those will have cars. When you start a job, it's your responsibility to pay for your own travel. In most people's cases, lots of people face train fares uh, in the thousands. They have to pay bus fares or whatever. Why should the taxpayer uh, foot the bill for this when we're already shelling out so much for the NHS? Well, of course, we're not, I'm not suggesting that they pay for the travel to the hospital. I'm saying when you get there, you shouldn't be charged to make money for the, the hospital. These, these car parks, they're not a break-even operation. They're a money-making operation. Uh, yeah, the um, NHS shouldn't become NCP. I mean, it's not what they should be doing. Now, I have suggested uh, to help the hospitals tran uh, change to this system that the rates on hospitals should be abolished. I mean, it is absurd at the moment that if you want to expand or improve your hospital, you have to pay extra rates. Well, let's get rid of those, give that money back to the hospital to offset anything that they're, uh, any costs they're incurring relating to car parking. I, I just think it's wrong that people who are ill are charged for parking, people who are going to visit them are charged for parking, and staff are paid for parking. It just seems to me that's the wrong, uh, the wrong way to do it. And of course, it, it happens in England, but I don't think it happens the same in Scotland and Wales. I think it's free. No, indeed. Uh, when I was working as a local reporter up in Cumbria as well, there was a lady, I won't name her, who was a non-executive director of a hospital trust. And she didn't pay for parking when she went to four, the four board meetings she had a year. But actually, the nurses did. And there's a, there's a divide there. Do you have any idea roughly how much it's costing these nurses on a daily basis? Well, I mean, it depends entirely which, which, which area of the country or what, what that particular trust does. I mean, some, some, I mean, to great credit, many hospitals don't charge anything for parking. But others, I mean, if you go across to, from Westminster to is it St Thomas's, there's a fortune you pay for parking there. And if it could be free during the pandemic and it cost by the government, what, 130 million? They pay more on paper clips in the NHS in a year for that. I mean, it's such a small amount of money. And at the time when, you know, everyone's under pressure, of course, but the NHS staff have worked so well during the pandemic. To take away free car parking seems, well, I just think it's wrong. I think it's wrong on every level. And, and you, I, you know, the cost of actually installing machines to collect your money and people walking around to check that you've, you know, they're not overstayed. What a waste of money. Um, get back, the NHS ought to get back to looking after people. It's not a car park. Um, it's not a car park um, making enterprise. It's just, it's just I, 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 I've, I mean, I thought the Conservative Party in their manifesto, the last election sort of promised this. And then when I brought my private members bill in, it got a lot of support, but unfortunately we ran out of parliamentary time, but I'll reintroduce it uh, in the next session of Parliament. I mean, in, in theory, there could be an NHS worker, a nurse, say, who's 
um, let's say there's, you know, a terror attack or something that happens, something out of the ordinary happens, and they've got to stick around, and they're going to be sitting there thinking, goodness me, I'm about to get a parking ticket. You know, that's the last thing that we need, don't we, really, as, as they're doing that. And there's a recruitment crisis, as I understand it anyway, certainly a retention crisis, Peter. Maybe it's because of stuff like this. But it's, I mean, it doesn't make you look like a good employer, does it? I mean, most companies that I know of provide free parking for the staff when they come to work. I think it's ludicrous. I, 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 I think if this was put to a free vote in the House of Commons, we would win. But of course, that's uh, difficult to achieve when the government controls the order paper. I, I think that I think that the House Secretary is wrong on this. He looks and he's looking at gain. We're putting so much money into the NHS uh, to take away uh, free car parking for staff seems seems absurd. And I, I I can recall that, for instance, when I was taking my ex-wife for cancer treatment, we never knew how long she was going to be in there. So we had to guess at the beginning, buy a ticket. And if she had to stay in because it was a more serious situation, I had to rush out and put money in a meter. I mean, what, how, how, that's ridiculous in this day.